today our topic is linear time invariant systems linear time invariant systems actually in our control system mainly we have three mathematical models first one laplace transform is most important and differentiation is most important that is one of the models and next one state space analysis also one of the model in your control system first one what is the, what are the models we are using first one differentiation models a differentiation models and laplace transform models as well as third one state space model in your first chapter and second and third chapter mainly we are using differentiations next one laplace transforms mainly in the first chapter in mathematical models the differentiation uh, laplace transform are very useful this is one of the important question in your final exams and your gate point of view also most important and next one in this topic linear term invariant system consisting of consisting of linear systems as well as time invariant systems it is a combination of both linear and time invariant systems what is linear first linear is nothing but it agree the superposition principle agrees the homogeneity principle linear system is nothing but whenever the system agree the or obey the superposition principle as well as homogeneity principle what is homogeneity for example uh, we have some input from uh, for that input we are adding uh, we are multiplying some any quantity for example k quantity is multiplied with that input then same output will be generated in a resp output response also for example the same input we multiply with k and we get same output is multiplied with k that is multiply with k in input and output that is called homogeneity principle simply we are uh, we are multiply with k for input the same output also multiply with k that is a homogeneity principle or superposition principle now coming to time invariant system coming to time invariant system if you are change that time duration or left side or right side that is nothing but minus 1 plus 1 or minus 2 plus 2 we are ch changing the time from the horizon point or some point to any point automatically the output will be change that is nothing but time invariant systems time variance okay now for example i am taking one example for time invariant systems and linear systems linear time invariant systems uh, x1 is a one input to the linear time invariant system we get y1 of t x1 of t is the one of the input to the linear time invariant system we get y1 of t next uh, second one if x2 x2 of t is the one of the input to the linear time another linear time invariant system we get y of t y2 of t then if you are adding x1 of t plus x2 of t similarly y1 of t and y2 of t will be added if you are both inputs are added automatically the outputs also added for example these two by, by using these two examples we have discussed linear time invariant systems right y, y2 of t in terms of y1 of t this is a question we get x v1 x1 is there x1 of t is there and x2 of t two is there right coming to solution coming to solution for example x1 of t is there x1 of t is equal to from 0 to 2 0 to 2 in y axis 0 to 1 for x axis 0 to 2 the remaining negative point and positive point will be zero only but our target slope is only from 0 to 2 now the slope will be just shifted to left side left of the part from the origin that is minus 1 the first x1 of t is shifted to x1 t plus 
then the diagram will be shown in uh, our screen the second diagram first one is x1 of t our given question and if you shifted the time variance then we get x1 t plus 1 x1 t plus 1 now coming to coming to these two diagrams first one is our input input and second one is shifted diagram if you are combined together x1 of t is plus x1 of t plus 1 then we can get x2 of t right side of the screen in curl round you and right side of the screen x2 of t if you add in x1 of t and x1 of t plus 1 wave forms we get x2 of t student first uh, in inputs from minus 1 to 0 from second diagram from the input minus 1 to 0 we have 1 is there slope is 1 but in x1 of t we don't have any slope in between minus 1 to 0 that's why we are adding both x1 of t value and x1 t plus 1 value we get this one we get minus 1 to 0 next one from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 we have only x1 of t plus 1 is there and x2 x1 of t also there from this both diagram the magnitude is 1 from both 1 plus 1 that is 2 that's why in right side of the diagram from 0 to 1 we have we have Two is there. Magnitude is two. Just to combine x one of t plus x one of t plus one, we get x two of t. Okay. Now, if you are asking uh, below the uh, output diagram, resultant diagram, x two of t equal to x one of t plus x one of t plus one, then it is a x two value. Then similarly, in homogeneous principle, y two of t equal to y one of t plus y one of t plus one, y one of t plus one. Now. If I am giving uh, any inputs to the linear term invariant systems, we get the same output. We get the same output. That is nothing but uh, x1 of t plus x1 of t plus 1 is nothing but y1 of t plus y1 of t plus 1. Okay. Then similarly, x2 of t equal to y2 of t. If you, add, if you are adding something in input, the same resultant will be in output also. If you are applying the linear time invariant systems. Now coming to Simply, you have to remember what is linear time invariant systems. Linear time invariant system is nothing but it is agree the superposition principle or homogeneity principle. What is homogeneity principle? If you are adding something, multiply with something, the same output will be is multiply with some value, that value. And what is linear time invariant systems? If you are shifted left side or right side, with minus 1 plus 1 or minus 2 plus 2, the same resultant will be uh, in output also. That is time invariance systems. Okay. This is the best example for time linear time invariance systems. Next one. Uh, right. Already the transfer function definition is over in last class. What is the transfer function definition? Transfer function is nothing but the ratio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input when all the initial conditions are assumed to be zero. Simply y of zero, x of zero, t of zero, all, all will be zero in, in transfer function control systems. Okay. Uh, what is transfer function? Transfer function h of s equal to y of s by h of x of s. What is y of s? The output value for the system. What is x of s? The input value of the system. And the, at that situation, the all conditions will be zero. The all initial conditions will be zero. This is our transfer function definition. This is the most important one. Okay. Now, after completion of linear time invariant systems and transfer function, and transfer function, we have some example problem on transfer function systems. Find the transfer function of the system given by find the transfer function of the system given by something d square y of t by dt square plus 3 into dy of t by dt 
plus 2 into y of t equal to x of t. Just find the transfer function for this system. Actually, this is a differentiation. Differentiation is converted into first Laplace transform first, then only we can get transfer function. Actually, the total quotient is in terms of time domain as yes, t is there. That total system will be converted into which domain? S domain. Total we have t domain is there. That t domain is converted into S domain. Then we can get transfer function. Then we can get transfer function. Now, d square of dy of t by dt square is nothing but simply wherever d square is there, d square of dt square is there, simply you have to write s square. Okay? We have come, uh, convolution theorem is there. What is convolution theorem? Laplace transform of y double dash equal to s square into y of s minus y of 0 minus y dash of 0. These are lap convolution theorem property. We have three formulas are there for y double dash, y triple dash, and y dash. In this transfer function, which is 0, y of 0, and y dash of is also 0. What initial conditions are 0 automatically in transfer function? We can, do, we can get only s square of y of s. From this equation, d square by dt square can be written as s square into y of s minus y dash of 0 Now coming to now coming to 3 into 3 into d y of t by dt equal to sir d y of by dt is nothing but y dash what is y dash laplace of y dash what is laplace of y dash s into y of s minus y of 0 this is our convolution property first one y double dash Laplace of y double dash, second one 3 into Laplace of y dash, and next one third one plus 2 into y of s is nothing but only y of s, y of t is nothing but only y of s, and x of t is nothing but x of s. The total time domain function is converted into s domain function, okay, with by using convolution property formulas. Ah, in this transfer function, total initial condition assumed to be zero, then all y of zeros, y dash of zero is nothing but zeros. Okay. Then we can get s square into y of s plus 3 into s into y of s plus 2 into y of s equal to x of s. Already I told you in first class, the total control system is combination of mathematical models. That is nothing but differentiation, Laplace transforms and matrices. Okay. If you are comfortable with mathematics, then you can easily crack the uh, control system subject. Then only it is very difficult. Ah, yeah. Second step. Coming to second step, s square into y of s plus 3 into s into y of s. From this, y of s is common. What is y of s? That is nothing but output. What is x of s? That is input. Output by input is called a transfer function. Then we can get 1 by s square plus 3s plus 2. What is y of s by x of s? That is h of s. 